Greetings, I am Rob Chapman and welcome to this demonstration of the incredible orange amplification Dual Dark. Now you guys, if you've been watching any of my videos, will know all about my relationship with orange. I used orange for years and years um, in all sorts of gigs and environments and I used to be the clinician for orange amplifiers. Now the amplifiers I used most of all from orange were the Rockaverb and the Terra series of amplifiers and in particular the Dark Terra which I happen to have right here. Here is my beautiful Dark Terra. Mine looks a little bit different because I've had mine encased in dragon skin by my friends at Zilla Caps. <laughs> In the day when I was the Orange Amps clinician, I remember Damon Waller, who um, runs Orange Amplifiers, uh, always thought it would be cool if I played a V. So in honour of those days, I thought I'd play a V for this demonstration, and of course bring in a bit of Chapman Guitars love, as you know and love yourselves, hopefully. So I suppose the main focal area of the Dark Terror is rock and metal, although you can, using the attenuator, get some really classic vintage vibes. And I'll show you how to do that later on. But mentioning the attenuator, um, if you don't know what an attenuator does, basically it soaks up some of the power from the valves so you can drive the amp really hard and get those crunchy power valve tones. Let's run over the basic features and I'll give you a couple of tonal examples. Uh, by the way, on the floor, all I've got is a tuner, a bit of reverb, and then I might kick in a boost of some sort, probably the TC Electronic Spark, which is just a boost in the front end. So, channel B, the Dark Terror, we just have volume, shape, which is a, a modified um, kind of EQ circuit, and then gain, which is absolutely monstrous. <laughs> Dark Terror channel, as you know and love, we've got the effects loop at the back. It's a great, great sounding amplifier. Channel A is this completely newly revoiced channel. Um, according to Orange Aid, Adrian, the genius behind Orange Amplifiers, who's a really nice guy, um, there's a little bit more of a wider frequency range on the EQ, which excites me greatly. And I think he's developed this really for the rock and metal crowd. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's definitely in that area, but like I said, you can get some great vintage and classic blues tones with this amplifier as well. shot set up so that you can see the amplifier and me at the same time so when I change things my arm will do this luckily I have uniquely long arms for this particular operation but let's start with channel B just exactly how I have it set so here is the monstrous filth for this channel B metal groove rock power amp. Um, it's got that warm, saturated, not fuzz, but there's something animal-like about it. And I think you'll see that in, in what well, sort of notice that in the kind of band that pick up this amplifier and use it. You can get 80s screaming shred lead 
kind of Steel Panther type tones from this as well, which I'm also very excited about. But the real area, this, this, I think personally that this is really strong in, is that kind of stoner rock, dark, power, metal vibe. I've now backed off the gain, uncustomary for me I know, and got it to about stage two. There are four gain stages per channel, and I think you're going to be quite surprised at how well this amplifier cleans up for you on a middle pickup selection. <laughs> see it cleans up beautifully. Uh, something that really quite surprised me, I think it cleans up a lot better than the original Dark Terror ever did. Um, really practical, very useful. Now let's add stupid amounts of gain just to see what this sounds like with stupid amounts of gain. <laughs> I mean, that's just outrageous, really. It's a lot smoother, slightly more saturated, less fizzy than the Dark Terror ever was. For me, it's a much nicer tone. I know it's the same amplifier. I don't know whether it's just more EL34s doing the job or what it is, but it just sounds phenomenal. Here's a little bit of delay and a bit less gain uh, and a very slight boost through the front and here's a great kind of lead tone for your 80s shred. Great, great sound. Let's move over to channel A, shall we? Now obviously I'm flicking a switch on the front, but this can all be done with foot switches. Uh, you can bring in and out the attenuation and you can change the channel. I'm quite surprised that Orange didn't include reverb, um, because Orange are really renowned for fantastic, luscious reverbs, but it's of no matter. I mean, I have a Hall of Fame on the floor here from TC Electronic my mainstay go-to reverb. Many people use reverb pedals nowadays anyway, so I guess it's just one less thing on the amp and they've made room for the attenuation. So here is how I've got Channel 8 voiced at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I actually got taken by surprise by a pig squeal there. It, it does these harmonic things that you kind of don't expect. I mean, it's great that it does them. You know, often I would sort of slightly fluff a pick squill, but it just does it for me anyway. It's quite a forgiving amplifier, um, which is a nice surprise. I've dialed the EQ in, in a very specific way that I enjoy, but let me centralise this for you to give you sort of a slightly truer idea of how this thing sounds. I'm also going to back off the gain to halfway, bring that volume in a little bit more, and take a listen to this. This is on the central pickup. So you can hear the warmth in that channel. It's a really warm, fat, got my pick, sounding channel. It's more, it's less um, raw and more kind of smoother sounding than channel B. I've gone ahead and dialed in uh, a, a very saturated lead tone channel A now. I think you're going to enjoy this. There's a little bit of a flashback delay, a little bit of reverb. Everything else is just the amplifier. A bit more mid, a bit more treble, just to cut through the mix. Quite a lot more gain, and I've even bumped up the volume. Okay, let's bring in some attenuation. So we're on channel B, I've got half the attenuation and I'm just going to bring the volume up so you can hear the tones with the attenuation involved. So let's gradually bring in the volume. <laughs> Now what I'm noticing is it's a little bit more compressed, which is quite cool for those kind of uh, funky... sounds great and I think the attenuator is a really practical thing to have an amplifier provided it's of the quality that the attenuator in this amplifier is because I have heard some shockingly bad attenuators in my time. Uh, this is a particularly good one. So if you want the vintage crunch, the old classic vintage sounds, bring in that attenuation, crank up the volume and back off the gain and that's what you're going to get. I wouldn't necessarily use it to get more gain for a, a lead tone, like an 80s shreddy tone or a, a kind of a gent tone. I don't think it's going to really get you that. I mean, it may do. I think you're better off ramming it really hard and um, backing off the gain for that kind of tone. But check it out. We'll go to channel A and we've got loads of attenuation. I'll bring the volume halfway up and back off the gain. Check this out. <laughs> If I 
take off that reverb. It's really warm sounding. Really nice, man. For me, really, this, this takes this from kind of doomy, dark, rock, metal type genres to the more classic genres. It takes you right back to where Orange began with some of the early kind of, you know, picks only type stuff, um, which is really awesome. Anyway, it's a great amplifier. I've been Rob Chapman. Go and check one of these out. Chappers, out.